everyone, welcome to the channel today. Um, we're going to be taking a look at a whetstone. This particular one I picked up off Amazon for around about £16. Now, some of the bigger channels and um, other more experienced people say is don't choose these particularly cheap wet stones because you're not guaranteed to know the true grit of them whether it says um, this one is a combined 1400 now some of the other channels that I've been watching were saying that that might not, not necessarily be true they might be way lower than what those um, grits suggest but for me it's good it's, it's kind of my first wet stone so I'm just going to try with this one and um, before I spend the big bucks on the Japanese ones at 80 pound a shot so let's take a quick look at this and uh, let's see uh, how much we can mess up sharpening the blade so taking a look at the Kun Kwan sharpening stone 400 and a thousand grit this was off Amazon for around about 16 pound I'll put a link um, in my header let you see that this is a wet stone and not an oil stone so we don't need oil with it we just have to soak it in water and keep water dry because uh, the friction from um, the surfaces rubbing causes heat so we need to keep that heat down uh, with the different blades. So what we're going to do is we're going to get um, a tub of water and then we're just going to soak the stone in that until all the um, air bubbles have dissipated. Now it comes with a, a rubber slide mat you can take that off for now and we'll just put that in there. So you can see all the air bubbles um, coming out of that. So it says it generally takes about five minutes for all the um, air to be displaced and um, for it to be ready to use. So we'll take a look at that and see how long it goes. But I'm looking forward to doing this. You know, knife sharpening is one of the skills that we need to keep practicing along with um, the other skills like, like fire lighting and things like that. But this is this is one a one that I quite like to um, try and get more proficient at and more, and more used to doing. So that hasn't taken five minutes to soak in. Um, it's only taken a couple of minutes, which is quite good. Or is it? According to the bigger channels, not so much. But we'll see. I think for your first time out, spending £80 would be a bit ridiculous if you're going to struggle with it. Um, you know, you can send your knives off to be sharpened. And really, you're only really going to sharpen them if, if they've got really dull and, and you've not been... Um, you know, you've not been stropping them after use and stuff like that. Or generally abused them or if they've been damaged somewhat. So that seems to be... Um, well, the air seems to be displaced from that now, which is quite good, I'd imagine. So, there's no more bubbles coming out. Let's take a look at that. And we'll just put that down. And then we shall put it in its seat to stop it sliding. Now, they say it's important to keep it on a flat surface to ensure um, that we do the blade evenly and that the... the stone actually wears evenly so i'm going to be putting a bit more of an edge on um, a condor knife um, i do tend to use it quite a bit for different things so um, it's not the sharpest um, as it could be now i won't go and cut paper like everyone else does i don't really like cutting paper to be honest with you i either get it or i don't um, and it doesn't always slice that great so what we'll do is we'll see how well um, and how thin we can get it to slice so that's it just now okay and we'll see by sharpening it if we can get it to sh to to um, to slice thin so it's not that sharp it's not shaving sharp as you can see there's no hair there or anything it's not the trademark on that so let's give this a go and see how we get on now the tip is to do it from the tip to the heel of the blade and you go one way with it and then and then you come back on itself um, the, if it's a if, if it's a really dull, dull blade you'll you'll probably like be like 15 minutes per side getting it ready on that so that's the hundred and the four hundred 
the 400 coarser one is if there's a lot more dull to the blade burrs things like that we'd use the 400 because it's coarser now there isn't any burrs or anything to my blade all I'm trying to do is just put a better edge on it so we'll try the 100 we'll see how we get on we might do a couple of passes on the 400 so they, they suggest that um, you do it round about between between 20-25 degrees. If you're not too sure how to get that, just hold your, your knife so you're at a 90, then half it, so you're at the 45, and then half it again. Now, you will feel the blade when it rests. So my tip is, is just to feel the blade when it rests, and, and then that way you get the grind on it. So... What we're going to do is we're just going to run the tip to the heel and then come back. Might just take you a wee while just to get the feel of it. Some people just do it the one way and don't come back. With the wet stones, all the guides I've watched is you can um, you can come back on it itself. Okay, and then um, we'll go the other way. Now I can feel that grinding a little bit there, so what I'll do is um, I'll put a wee splash of water on top of that just to help it. So I believe they call this mud when you see the paste. So. As you can see, I'm not always drawing it back. Just, it's just getting into used to doing it, really. And then doing it on the opposite side is quite strange to do. And you're trying to do it for a camera too, so it's not always the easiest. But let's give it a go. There's nothing to lose. So I'm not doing the back stroke on it, I'm only doing the front stroke on it. I'm going to try to pass on the course so I get it. So the course is supposed to take more of. It's a lot finer actually, but. I'm going to take it out of that just for now. I just want to make sure it's sitting properly. I'm just applying it a little more pressure to it. I don't know how many of you are actually used to sharpening with wet stones or if you kind of shy away from sharpening.
can use the landscape systems and things, but let's keep a eye on this. So I'm just checking it and see how it feels. I don't think it feels any better actually, but uh, that's just the way I'm sharpening it probably. It's good to try things out. Get better with practice. So we'll give this a wipe off now. And then we'll have a little slice test. See how thin we can get it. I'm happy with how well that sliced there. So there you have the Kun Kun sharpening stone from Amazon. So sixteen pound. We've give it a try with the wet stone much better than the first one so I'm pleased with that um, get out there keep practicing is all I can say and keep trying hone those skills that's what all this is about I'm not um, an expert and no one ever will be an expert I'd imagine I don't believe in the word expert I believe in keep trying and you will succeed at what you do stay safe out there thanks for watching please hit the subscribe if you haven't already Prepadel out.